Brand new features in Edpuzzle that are going to make many teachers happy. Let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some updates to Edpuzzle. Now, I've been an Edpuzzle fan for a very long time and I love using it to share video and really flip the classroom experience. Now, Edpuzzle has added a number of new features to their offering and so we're going to jump back in and we're going to have a look at these updates. First things first, let's go to Edpuzzle. I'm on my Edpuzzle account here and let's start by creating a brand new assignment for our students. I'm going to search for a video on tigers. So here at the top, we're going to search for tigers. I'm going to select YouTube and then I'm going to select a video I would like to use for my demo assignment. So I'm going to select this one here, which is a three minute video on tigers and it's by National Geographic. So let's go ahead and click on that. As always, you can preview the video and you can select edit to start setting up this assignment, which is what we're going to do now. I'm going to click on edit. And the first big feature update for Edpuzzle is student audio responses. Our students can now respond to questions using voice notes. It is all built into Edpuzzle and I'm going to show you how you can set this up. Let's get started on making sure that this video is ready to be assigned. We're going to trim the video. I only need a small section of this video, so let's just trim this. I'm going to add a question. So let's add an open-ended question here. I'm going to add that question two seconds in. And we're going to ask them, what do you know about tigers? So let's go ahead and pop that in. And you will notice there is now a new toggle we can switch. Here, we can allow audio responses. This is huge. Our students can record their voice and respond to our question without the need of typing. This really allows a more integrated experience for our students. So let's go ahead and toggle this on. I'm going to click on save and we're going to finish editing this video. So let's go ahead and click on finish. We can now assign this. So I'm going to assign it to my demo class. When you click on assign, you can select any of your classes. Let's select the demo class and assign it to all students. Jumping into my demo student account, they will see that there is a new assignment. So we're going to select that assignment. That demo student is now in the assignment and they can watch this video. Now, because I've set a question after two seconds, it automatically pauses and they can now respond by either typing their answer or with the new feature, they can now also answer with audio. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to click on this audio. This is a great video about tigers. As soon as they click on stop, they can preview their audio notes. This is a great. Let's say that they're happy with it. They can now continue and watch the rest of the video. Okay, they finished. They can click on show results and the teacher will now grade their responses. So let's go back to our demo teacher account. Here, the teacher will see that this student has submitted the work. You can see here they've turned it in. And when they click on it, they can listen to their audio response. The audio response will be down here where you can see the different questions. And as they press play, this is a... They can listen to the student. Once done, they can grade this and leave a comment for our students. And that's the first updated feature for Edpuzzle. Now the second one is another big one, and that is the creation of a Chrome extension. And what that does is it adds two different features to Edpuzzle. Number one, it really speeds up the workflow and the time it takes to use a YouTube video and pull it into Edpuzzle. Let me demonstrate that by going to YouTube. Here on YouTube, I have a video on my channel and because I have that extension installed, you will notice there is an additional button underneath that video. Here, we can now edit with Edpuzzle. When I click on that, it automatically takes that link from that video, pulls it into Edpuzzle and jumps into the editor. I can now cut the video, I can leave questions. This is really sped up how long it takes me to find a video, then open up Edpuzzle, copy that link, paste it in, jump into the editor. Everything is done with a single click because I have that extension installed. Once ready, I can finish and assign this video to my students. Now the second thing that this extension does is it brings a screen recorder into Edpuzzle. So let's have a look at that. I'm going to open up the homepage for Edpuzzle and let's say that I want to demonstrate something. 
I don't have to open up an external screen recorder or another program. Everything works from this page because I have that extension. So let's click on the extension. And the first thing I do is select what do I want to record? My tab, my desktop, or just the camera. Let's go ahead and select the entire desktop. We can choose our microphone, we can choose our camera. I'm going to choose the user facing camera and I'm going to click on start recording. Now it's recording my camera feed as well as recording the screen. And on the left hand side, you'll see those different controls. We can move the controls around. We can mute ourselves, turn the camera off, delete and start over, pause the video or click on stop. Let's go ahead and stop the video. As soon as I click on stop, it is pulled over into an editor. Here I can title this. So let's go ahead and give it a title. We're going to name this a demo screen recording, and then we're going to save the title. We can trim and cut the video, and we can select the thumbnail. In addition to that, you'll have to change the privacy settings. At the moment it's set to public, but we can make this private. Once you're happy with this, go ahead and click on upload video. The video is uploaded and you are brought into that familiar editor where you can now cut, add voiceovers or questions to this video. Let's jump into questions and you can see you have the exact same format as you had before. And instead of using that YouTube video, you're now using the screen recording recorded right here with that extension that really adds functionality to Edpuzzle. It's going to save you time not having to use external software or another piece of software, not having to download, upload video files. Everything is handled by the Edpuzzle extension and automatically integrates with Edpuzzle, the online platform. Now, in addition to audio responses for students, a built-in screen recorder and a faster workflow for YouTube, they've also added something called student projects. Now a student project is where you are assigning a project and now your student has to go and find a video that matches that project, add their own questions, add their own notes and then submit it as if they are assigning the video to you. So let's see what that looks like. Now on the home page, you're going to click on create or add content. Now an additional option there is the student project. So let's click on that. I'm going to title this the Demo Tiger Project and it will be a project where our students have to find a video on tigers, add in notes and then submit that to me. The goal of the project will be to learn more about tigers and the instructions will be add five notes on tigers to demonstrate. Now again, you would make this much more detailed and you would obviously give your students very clear instructions as to what they have to add and how they add it. I'm going to click on save project. And now when I scroll down, you'll see that I have these projects down here. We're going to select the demo tiger project and assign it to our class. I'm going to select the demo class and click assign. All students are now assigned this project. So let's jump into our student demo account. Here, our student sees that there is a new assignment, a demo tiger project, and it has a different icon. Now by looking at this icon, they can instantly see that this is a student project and not a video assignment. So let's go ahead and click on it. It says, learn more about tigers, add notes with information. Okay, let's start our project. Now the student will go and find a video. Let's go and find a video on tigers. They will select this video here, the Siberian tiger video. Let's say they watch the entire thing. They want to use this video. They can click on use for this project and they will see that familiar editor. They can cut the video, they can add in questions as well as notes. So they're going to add in a note. This note again can contain text, info on tigers, as well as an audio recording or a student voice response. Let's go ahead and do that. I love using student voice notes because it really speeds up how fast a student can respond. And it's just a more natural way for them to answer questions or add information and notes. And there we go, they can preview that. Let's say they're happy with everything. They can click on save. Okay, let's say that they're happy. They're ready to submit this. They will click on finish. One more preview. They see that there is some text there. They can see that they've added an audio note. They can click on edit to add more or they click on turn in. Now, as they click on turn in, this will be sent to the teacher and the teacher is notified. Back to our teacher account, you will see 
that student 2 has submitted their assignment. You can see when they've submitted this and the teacher can open this assignment to get access to their work. As they scroll down, they will see that they've added some notes. They can listen to the notes and read the information. They can also skip and continue once they've completed that. So this is the third big update to Edpuzzle. So we have our voice notes, we have our screen recorder and faster workflow, and now we also have student projects. Now, integrating with an LMS is incredibly important, and this is another one of those incredibly useful updates to the Edpuzzle platform. Now, let's say that you want to quickly bring in your classes from other LMS systems. Well, that has been made much easier as well. On the left-hand side, you'll see I have my classes here. Now, when I click on that plus icon, you'll see that Edpuzzle has a range of different integrations available. We have Google Classroom, Canvas, Schoology, Blackboard, Microsoft Teams is coming soon and Clever. So you can use all these different LMS systems to integrate with Edpuzzle. Let's go ahead and have a look at what it looks like when we pull in a class from Google Classroom. I'm going to click on Google Classroom. We're going to have to give it a number of permissions. And then once we've done that, you can see all the classes you have on Google Classroom right there in that selector. I'm going to select the animated header demo class. We're going to give it a grade level. Let's just set it to higher education and the subject will be art. We're going to click on import classes and automatically all teachers and students are pulled into Edpuzzle. You can see we have no assignments at the moment. We can see our class members and there is also that link with our gradebook. So grades are automatically exchanged between the two. This is incredibly useful. And as someone who uses Google Classroom, this has really made it much easier for me to assign work as well as make sure that everyone who needs access to the assignments in Edpuzzle gets that access straight from the LMS. Now, I really like how they've added all these additional integrations, not just Google Classroom is there, but many other LMS systems. Now, these are some of the main updates to the Edpuzzle platform. Now, I would love to hear from you. What do you think about these updates? Which one's your favorite? How are you going to use them in the classroom? Let me know in that comment section below. Now, once you've left your comments, scroll back up and make sure that you subscribe or join the channel. If you join the channel, you get additional perks and this includes a members only server on Discord. If you wanna learn even more about Edpuzzle, click on this video you see on screen now. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.